What's up guys, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing and first look at the JBL Flip 4 Bluetooth speaker. Now this speaker was released back in March of this year, so it's fairly new and relevant. And it costs $100 brand new off Walmart, you know, or Amazon or JBL website itself. But if for Walmart, if you go to the price matching online and you find it cheaper, they will match it and, you know, sell it to you for cheaper as long as it's sold by Walmart themselves. So I, f I did that and I bought it for 87 bucks and that's quite a deal for a JBL Flip 4. Now, it is the newest in the edition of the Flip series, so it has all the newest tech. For example, it has JBL Connect. That means it lets you connect at least 100 speakers of you know with JBL Connect Plus to each other and have them play at the same time. It's kind of a disappointment because they don't work with the older speakers. Let's say you have a JBL Flip 3 and you buy this one and you want to pair both. It's not going to work, unfortunately. I, I don't know. That sucks. But it comes with the, you know, JBL Flip app. You just download it off the Play Store. Now, it does have 12 hours of playtime. Apparently, a, a lot of people say they got at least 14 with medium volume. Medium volume, so let's go ahead and see that. It's IPX7 waterproof. That means it has no resistance to dust or dirt. That means it has not been tested for that. So keep this out of the sand. Keep it out of dirt. Especially because it has exposed radiators on the side. But it is 7, IPX7 waterproof, so it does, you know, resist water for up to 30 minutes under a meter. So that should be fine. You should be able to play this underwater as long as it's not deeper than 3 feet. It has a speakerphone built in, so yeah, it comes with a charger and the speaker itself apparently. Very nice art. I like, I like the box. It's really cool. As you can see right there, the logo. Really nice. Go ahead and unbox this. Let's see. Yeah, so some tape right here. And we just look at that. that. That's cool. So we just got some art on the side. Looks very nice. And this very nice patterned uh, little flip thing. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a play stop button, but it, but I guess it's an exclamation point. That's that's their thing, JBL. Very nice. And there's the speaker itself. We'll get to that in a sec. Let's see what we have inside. Um, Probably have the charger in here. It's kind of chunky. This is going to come out. Mm. Okay, so... Looks like we just have instruction manuals and probably warranties and stuff and... That's it. Wow, even that's padded. Wow. That, <laughs> they must really want you to read that stuff, but oh well. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I see it. So, JBL always gives you the brightly colored, you know, charger. JBL right there on the little... Very nice and bright. It definitely stands out. Not easy to lose and easy to keep, you know, with the speaker. Apparently, you're supposed to use a proprietary cable with this this one but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you can use any micro usb adapter it should be fine it does not come with a brick as i not saw did not see and oh, look at that nice and shiny so here's the speaker itself nothing else in the box very nice box so the speaker okay so first off it feels very nice in the hand it's feels very nice high quality does not feel cheap. This mesh material feels very nice. Definitely sturdy. You can see the buns right here. You can kind of see the imprints inside where you press them. You really can't see them in person. Well, you can kind of see them because I'm using a flashlight. But if I hold it away from the flash, um, you do not see them at all. But you can see them on camera right there. You can see the buns inside it. Could you see the speakers? Um, these right here, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can kind of see the speakers right here. But once again, you hold it out of the light. You really can't tell them. We have the JBL logo right there. Metal logo. You got the passive radiators. And JBL says do not press inside or do not press them. But apparently they are very resistant. You have a little cord to hang your speaker from a shower header, you know, your bike or something. The power button, the JBL Connect. We have the Flip 4 logo and this should be where you charge it. Pretty stuck in there, wow, okay. So if you don't have any nails like I do, it's gonna be quite a problem. I'm having difficulty opening this already. 
And one thing I noticed is that the radiators are glossy, so they do pick up smudges already. Look at that. Very easily. Of course, they're not as noticeable outside the flash, but there we go. So it does come with an aux port, so let's say you're using a cassette player. I'm, I'm not sure who still uses that. But if you're using something that does not have Bluetooth, let's say like an, you know your grandparents, they have an old flip phone and they want to hook up their jams, their Elvis Presley, go ahead and hook up their aux port. And micro USB for charging. Now apparently this does take three and a half hours to fully charge. So we'll see that. Got the buttons, Bluetooth, volume down, volume up, and pause play. Slash search assistant. Because this you can hook up with your phone. And you can uh, you know pull up Siri or you know Google now. And it should have some juice. So Ooh, very nice so it does sound very nice right off the bat and like I said it feels very good in the hand it's definitely not cheap it feels very sturdy this feels like it could take some drops would I drop it around I mean accidentally yeah but I, I, I honestly just keep it safe because uh, it is kind of an expensive speaker in my opinion $80 is a lot for a speaker yeah you're paying for you know the sound quality and everything but you're gonna pay that much you better be ready to take care of it. Exposed radiators and all that. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So for 80 bucks, you get a JBL Flip 4. And I'm going to be using it for about two weeks to see how it performs and all that. And I'll let you guys know in my full review. But for right now, this is my unboxing slash first look. I think we'll play some music real quick. Okay, so I found a some music i'm guessing i'm gonna use no copyrighted music because even though i'm not a partner they still spam me with the you know crap that if i play any other music which is some bs because i'm not even a partner or making money off these videos but whatever let's just play some music no copyrighted sounds So as you can see, it sounds very nice for, you know, a speaker of this size. The bass is definitely there. You can see the little radiators like vibrating and shaking because of the bass. So, yeah, <laughs> that is freaking awesome. It just shows how much power this thing has. It sounds very nice. Okay, so that's that was my quick unboxing slash first impressions video. It's a very nice speaker. I already like it a lot. I can't wait to test this out throughout the week, the weeks to come. And uh, yeah. I'll let you guys know how it feels and if it's worth buying. I already think it's worth buying already. I mean, 14 hours of play time and, you know, sounds really good for the price and it's waterproof and it's a good brand. And yeah. But yeah, this is my video. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. And peace.